If you have been looking to get started with YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch and want to know how the best performing laptop works with streaming and recording, this video is going to be talking about my review of OBS, how to get started with the Zephyrus G15, which was the 2021 uh, best recommended laptop according to Reddit, Best Buy. A lot of reviews say this is the laptop to get. And even in 2022, with the new models out, it's still highly recommended. So be sure to check out uh, this video and the comments below on how to get started with recording and streaming. So a little bit about this device. Um, really, it goes on sale a lot for at Best Buy for about $1,500. Um, you can check it out. Uh, be sure to do the one that doesn't have the webcam. Uh, G15, Zephyrus. And currently right now, uh, to the prices right now, um, you know, it's run running 1800 but if sometimes it goes on sale, you could get it for 1500 which is what I was able to do. Now, this particular laptop, um, you know, has nice fans, nice cooling. Um, I usually prop it up a little just to get better ventilation, and I do also mine on it pretty much like 24-7, and still am able to, uh, you know, record content like you're seeing. Um, so one thing I would say is compared to the M1 MacBooks, um, which I had made some videos on streaming, uh, you know, with the M1 MacBook Air, you're really only going to get um, about 720p, 30fps, and then when you bump up to the M1 Max and the M1 Pros, then you get 1080p recording. Now what you're actually seeing on screen, um, and if I showcase right now, I'm doing a multi cam setup so i'm actually recording at two times 1080p there's a 1080p screen here and another 1080p here i'm recording at the same time and what that allows me to do is in future edits uh kind of give you that multi-cam so that's another advanced tip uh for people just getting started so uh, at least in terms of if you're looking to buy this particular laptop you will be able to get really great performance in terms of you know better than macbooks at least in my opinion if for getting serious about streaming and recording. So going right into how to really get started on recording and streaming, OBS Studios is my number one recommendation. If you download it for Windows, this is going to be a tutorial uh, on the basic setups for using it just for the Zephyrus G15. Once you download it and install it, you should get kind of a picture that looks as so. Um, so the, the fundamentals that you need to know about OBS is that you basically need a camera, you need a microphone and you will need um, kind of to understand how scenes and sources work. So if I just open up another instance of OBS, we can take a look at how that would work. So I'm going to go into one of my profiles, which is just regular recording. I use this to record um, most of my content. Went into the 440p one. So what you're seeing on screen is a scene which contains a source. Um, on screen, you're physically seeing the representation of a DSLR camera. If this was what was being sent, that would be the source. And then I have another scene where I place the desktop, which you're physically seeing on screen now, um, as it's repeating itself in infinity. And then I have a source for a border, the background, um, stuff of that nature. So really just going into kind of what it represents is scenes and sources are just uh, collections of information that you would want to put into your computer or in OBS. Um, typically you'd have like a background video, which you could get from a lot of YouTube videos, just download there. Um, and then you primarily just want to have a camera on top of a desktop and then doing that recording. Um, on top of that, uh, besides being able to showcase all this stuff on the Zephyrus and record at over 1080p, like multiple 1080p videos at the same time, um, once you kind of play around with the scenes and sources, you'll want to check out kind of the output settings. So the best thing I like about this laptop is that it has a dedicated encoder through NVIDIA. You'll be able to choose that setting here in the recording output. Uh, once you go to advanced, you scroll over to the recording tab. You'll be able to choose the NVIDIA encoder, and I like recording at CQP at around 20 with max performance. This gives me the quality that I'm looking for and allows me to easily edit it in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so that could get you started on how to produce this types of content. Now, the next thing to 
make sure you handle is that if you want to have your audio recorded, you can always monitor what's being recorded over here. Uh, but for the most part, your desktop audio and your microphone should be left at default. And then you can monitor the levels on your audio mixer. And here you can see at least when I'm speaking, um, it's coming from the right mic and it's coming in the right settings. And then if I was trying to record desktop, um, I'd want to monitor that. So this microphone is actually what's coming from my DSLR camera um, in the back. Uh, but for the most part, uh, those are the settings you'll want to do or to take a look at when you're just getting started with OBS in recording and streaming. So a lot of times when you're playing video games, you know, you would have either your camera here on the side and then you could record your desktop and you'd be playing here. Um, so you could, you could get at least, this is a 1440p screen. You'd be getting like 60 FPS and you could, if you want to record or stream at 60 FPS, a lot of times for YouTube, I recommend just recording at 30 FPS, which you could change in the video settings. So once you go into video, you could just change this to be 30 or whatever FPS you're trying to record at. And then the canvas and resolution, I like recording and producing content at 1080p. I found that at least at this point in my ventures of what I'm producing for this technology channel and also my personal channel, which has uh, kind of behind the scenes and some travel blogging, um, there's no need to go at quad HD. Now, really, um, if I was deciding between a MacBook or a Zephyrus, I really prefer dedicated GPUs because they seem to have better performance than what I've seen from even the latest M1 Max. Um, so I can't keep going back to this. Uh, this machine to kind of produce more content. It edits and it also outputs relatively quickly. So that's one setting that you should check out. So one thing that you'll want to do um, when producing or recording content, lots of people like choosing a good camera. So the Zephyrus G15, just to warn you, does not come with its own webcam. What I'm currently using is the face cam, which is about a $400 device. What you can also do is download free software called uh, Elgato Facecam. I'll show and provide links below. But if we go into the multi-camera, and you can see here I have, um, I'm pulling up what I'll be showing. There is an app called Facecam Epocam, which is 100% free, or you could pay for the Pro, and then you should be able to broadcast um, what you want from your iPhone. Now, once you change the activation lock and you put it here, once I flip my camera, you can see the quality difference between the DSLR at the top left, which is the most expensive option. You'll need a lens and a, uh, what I use is a6000 that will run you about $800. The Epicam, which is this one right here, is about uh, $400. And then if you, uh, most people have a phone, you can just download this app or if you want to pay for pro, it's 20 bucks and I'm using the iPhone um, camera. Now, technically you could use the other camera and flip it around. I don't see much difference if you were wanting to do that with the iPhone pro. It's not really taking advantage of the better camera in my opinion, though some people may test this. And also for some reason on the Epicam pro, it's not outputting 1080p. Not exactly sure why, but these could be uh, your first and best tips for getting started is either purchase, at least when making for this device with a Zephyrus G15, either use your iPhone, buy an Epicam, or if you want to go all out, use the DSLR. So Epicam, you can just go to the website. You need to download a browser. It's from Elgato. Uh, so it says turn your phone into a webcam. Um, it's pretty simple software. You just download it on Windows and then hook up your phone and it connects. I recommend it for just getting started with your streams. And then also by the same company, um, I use the HD60. The HD60S is technically better, and that's how you connect to the DSLR. And then finally, for the fit webcam, I use Facecam. Um, I was expecting a better performance from this. If honestly I was redoing it, there's something that MKBHD promotes called like the OPPO device. Um, you can check it out here. He has a webcam that he places out there, the Opal C1. That's the one that he recommends. Um, it has a natural blur. Now with this particular device, you could turn on NVIDIA broadcast and get blur. Um, so that's also something I like on this device compared to other devices, but that would be my settings for, um, kind of recommendations and thoughts in 2022. I would pick up this laptop if you get it for 1500 and then either use your iPhone or get the Epic cam or really save with the money you saved, not getting the 22 version, you could get the, um, this 
a6000 and get that good quality um, as the, what you're seeing on my kind of b-roll secondary footage so in terms of streaming what you'd want to do is just simply choose a service you're wanting to connect with you can connect with account which uses your credentials and then once you go into the output settings depending on how fast your internet is you can either do the default setting which is 2500 or i could recommend going up to 5000 if your internet supports it and then you'd be able to stream off the nvidia um, encoder and that could also help you um, kind of get good gaming performance but also stream at the same time again I've tested this on the Apple M1, and I really think that comparatively, um, you know, just the package that the Zephyrus G15 outputs really handles your needs better, especially if you're going to be recording content and editing content and streaming content from your laptop. Now, if you're just going to do straight um, other forms of recording or editing, maybe the M1 Max is a device for you. However, if you want something that's an all-in-one that will, on straight numbers, have the best performance, um, per price, then I recommend the 2021 version of this laptop. Lastly, my last tips for using OBS is just really play around with the scenes and the previews. It's really what you see is what you get. Um, if you were going to like use a browser for a scene, you could choose like, you know, what do you want to record? Here's Chrome. And then, you know, that way you could have some other window open. Um, instead of doing desktop capture, you could do window capture, and I find it to have better performance on Windows. So that's another win, um, win for um, choosing a Windows laptop, specifically a gaming laptop, compared to the Apple M1s. Um, so really, for content creators who are really getting into streaming, um, you know, should you do M1 or Windows? It's really not that much competition, I think. Despite not having a webcam, if you really needed a webcam to be integrated, I mean, you're kind of paying for that with a 3070 Ti, which is the 2022 version, but the price gap does go up. Um, so, you know, what you're seeing is what, and then if I wanted to like add a window or a video capture, I could just add my camera. Of course, this is the B-roll and I go to my one, but you just put it here in the corner and that's something that you could play around with and test with. This is what you typically do for streaming. And then once you're ready to go, you just hit start streaming or start recording. And that's what you're producing out there on like Twitch, Facebook, or even recording at the end of the day. Um, so again, if we just take a look at the other price options, the M16 version, which is Intel's version, has a 3070 Ti, but it runs up to 2149. I honestly recommend the best bang for your buck is going to be the G15 version. Um, with the 3070, some of these run 3060s and stuff like that. I prefer running NVIDIA because you have the NVIDIA broadcast and then you have the NVIDIA encoders. Um, and then of course, if you're comparing to want Apple and stay in the Apple interface, I would just start with the M1 Pro 14s and those will run up, I think 2200 um, is what they start at 2000. Um, for the 512 gigabytes, um, runs up to 2500. Mm -hmm. And uh, at least with my testing on the M1 Max, you could get 1080p 60 FPS. But in terms of doing this multicam, which is two 1080p streams, quote unquote, at the same time, um, that's something that's going to be challenging with the device. So, um, really, from an OBS standpoint, OBS performance standpoint, comparing Apple M1s to a Zephyrus G15, I really find that this device to be you know, better for creators or content recorders, um, especially with how OBS handles, um, you know, desktop capture, it's way better on the, on the, on Windows. I had to make a separate video on how to record audio on Mac. Um, the window capture performance is way better. Um, and then, you know, just overall having a dedicated graphics card that's able to record. And the graphics card itself has its own video encoder um, that you're able to easily access on on the device whereas apple macbooks don't really have that so this has kind of been my thoughts from a content producer on recording content how to record content and thoughts on the g15 as still the 2022 best laptop to use for recording content um, if you have any questions I'll switch over to full camera maybe i need to do three cameras at once so i could have full screen and then overview um, but yeah if you have any questions at all uh, feel free to leave comments below. I still recommend this product, even though the 3070 Ti will be out 
Um, it's not, it's going to be marginal gains. So when, if you can get this for 1500, this is the device for you. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Take care.